So welcome to Photoshop. So today we're going to be going over image calculations and channel mixer. Two not uh, normally used ways to convert to black and white, but they can really do some dynamic stuff with your images depending on what you're working with and what color spectrum images are in. So I'm going to show you how to use them. It doesn't mean that the uh, traditional way of going to image adjustment black and white is bad this is still awesome and you can do really cool things with it so it's not that i'm saying not use this but there are occasions where these work better now these have been around for a long time that other method hasn't existed so first thing we're going to do is come in here and notice i have channels up and so we're going to go into the different channels because what we're going to be looking at in the first one which is called channel mixer are the combination of red, green, and blues channel. So this is red. That's what the red channel looks like. This is what the green channel looks like. And this is what the blue channel looks like. Now, we're going to make a combination or maybe just use one channel depending on what we want out of this image. I don't know. It could be that you want something like this. It could be you want something like this. Or it could be that you want something like this. So we'll go up here to RGB. And in this method, just because we can do this as a destructive uh, adjustment, but we're going to uh, keep this as a layered adjustment and go ahead and we will just click on this and drop down to Channel Mixer. Okay, so I have Channel Mixer down here. So you'll notice we have Channel Mixer. It does have some... Uh, default presets notice a black and white infrared which is probably a major is a combination of red green and blue doesn't mean that's the right way to do it black and white with a blue filter black and white with a green filter so these are trying to simulate shooting with film back when you used to put colored filters over your lens and give you sort of that effect you can toggle through those yourself so the old way to convert black and white was actually a combination of just red and green. Um, the blue channel, especially uh, in journalism, had we were shooting at high speeds and they had a lot of noise in it. So one way to get rid of a lot of that noise was to eliminate the blue channel and just do a combination of the red and the green. But today, uh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, notice when you're making these adjustments, so right now we're at plus 100, and down here it says total 100. You want to keep it, if you're trying to have like the same values as your color uh, image, make sure that this 100 stays um, around that value. Is If you get more than it, it's going to get brighter. If you get lower, it's going to get darker. So you'll be able to see that. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click on monochrome monochrome because we want to make this a black and white image. So here's where you will really see it getting brighter or it getting darker depending on those values. So we will just start off and put this at zero, this at zero, and this at 100. So that is simulation, uh, simulating back when we did just looked at the red channel if we wanted just the green channel we would hit that at zero and we would put a hundred percent in to the green channel so uh or if we want a hundred on blue we could do that so what i think i'm going to do is start off and let's do 75 percent for the blue in zero and zero and now i'm just going to slide these up a little bit okay and then we'll see what green looks like if i slide that up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and slide that up to about, oh, now notice my value here is at right at 100. I'm probably going to go a little bit above just because I want to get it a little bit brighter. So now we have this sort of eerie, dark forest. Now, one issue I have, it's a little bright here. I am eventually would make a mask and darken this. So channel mixer allows you to create a black and white image by mixing the channels and you can use just one uh, only one or a combination of them you also have this constant down here and this is going to brighten everything and this is going to kind of increase your think of it as almost like a contrast that it's flattening it out and increasing the contrast i usually don't fool with that 
unless I'm doing some sort of really cool like special effect. So once we're done with that, we're good. Notice we're still uh, an RGB image here. If you want to actually convert this to grayscale, you'd hit grayscale, discard, and now we're actual true black and white image. And so we've adjusted that using that channel mixer method. So we will go back. So the next thing we're going to do is, I think we'll do this guy right here. We're going to do image calculations to convert to black and white. So what you're going to do for image calculations is go up to image and then down to calculations. You want to make sure your source in this case is, is basically this image. So this is people and this is people. Both source images are exactly the same. Then what you're going to be doing is taking one of those channels, just like we did before, either the red, the green, or the blue, and combining it with another one of those source, same source images. So you could combine just the two blues, and you're going to get that look. Or you could make the top one green, it's going to change. Or you could do the top one is red, and that's going to change. And it also will depend on the type of blending mode that you're using at that time. So if I make this blue, so there's no blending mode here. We just are putting blue in blue channels. If I change this to green, it's going to look like that. If I change this one to green, notice it's not really doing so much. Whereas this one green and this one blue. So this is your top layer and this is your bottom layer. And then your blending modes are going to change the way the image looks. So if I hit multiply, we will darken it. Maybe we want this red to get a little more reds, maybe green, maybe this one red to get more contrast. Maybe I don't like that, so I try darken and we'll try the green. Yeah, that was a better contrast there. No, no. I think I'll keep the top layer as red. So that's giving us a cool look. We can also come down and do lighten. And lighten is obviously going to do the opposite. It's going to brighten everything up instead of darken everything. So we're going to have a different look. So we have overlay. So we're doing an overlay of red onto green. And I can change this around, make it green, make it blue. So we have this really contrasty image. Now notice I have an opacity slider as well, so I can slide this out if that effect is a little bit too much. And so I have sort of this really contrasty overlay. Then the last thing we're going to do is hit result. And result is, uh, we're going to, you have different options. So new document, new channel, new selection. We're going to create a new document and hit OK. And that is going to create a new file for us with this image and so now I could come in here and, and do some toning um, I could take that old image that I had of this guy and do something different to it and overlay it again on the image to make it look how I want if this I think is too dark I can simply make a curves adjustment layer I can come in here and tone it I could also uh, go back to this and create another file and see how I like that. So that's how you use image calculations and channel mixer to convert images to black and white. So I'll do one more here uh, quickly just and do channel mixer. So we'll come up here, we'll hit channel mixer, see if there's anything that looks good here. We'll make this monochrome. monochrome. So that actually looks pretty good there. So if I want to make this zero, it's going to darken that. We can try this at zero and this at 100. And there's no reason you have to do 100. So that's giving us a nice soft kind of value of this face. Let's see what the opposite looks like between red and green and make this 100. So we have that sort of darker look and then if we make this zero and this 100 we have this kind of really dark look so i'm going to make this one 50 and this one 50 
And so then we have this kind of combination of the two images. So I will delete this. And the opposite of what we could do then once again is image calculations and then we can create by using different blending modes and different channels some combination to give us a different look. So I'm going to go green and green. Or I think I'll do green and red and multiply. Let's try green, red, darken. Try vivid light, way too contrasty. Hard light, soft light, overlay. Whoops. Screen. Let's darken these up probably a little bit. That's better. Now we're going to slowly adjust this. So I kind of have this gray, grayed out, but contrasty version of black and white it's a lot of fooling around and getting used to it to see what you like but uh, go ahead and try out calc image calculates or image calculations and channel mixer and see how you like it to convert images to black and white so hopefully you learned a little bit today any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe